हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर रुशाली जाधव कंसल्टेंट ऑब्स्टेटिशियन एंड गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल खराडी पुणे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पेल्विक फ्लोर डिसऑर्डर्स पेल्विक फ्लोर डिसऑर्डर्स कैन बी कैटेगराइज इन टू थ्री प्रोलैप्स यूरिनरी इनकॉन्टिनेंस एंड फीकल इनकॉन्टिनेंस लेट्स फर्स्ट डिस्कस और टॉक अबाउट प्रोलैप्स प्रोलैप्स इज अ टर्म यूज फॉर perineal bulges or something bulging out or something coming out of the vagina prolapse can involve anterior vaginal wall vaginal wall uh, with the uterus and posterior vaginal wall accordingly it is called cystocele when the anterior vaginal wall prolapses or comes out as a bulge through the vagina prolapse of the posterior vaginal wall is called rectocele and when the uterus along with the anterior and or posterior wall prolapses it is called a uterine prolapse when the cervix is at outside or completely outside with the fundus outside the vagina this condition of prolapse is uh, caused due to various conditions basically which increase the intra abdominal pressure like chronic cough constipation obesity and connective tissue disorders prolapse is absolutely preventable prolapse needs exercises prolapse can be avoided by doing exercises or strengthening and stretching of the pelvic floor muscles the pelvic floor muscles undergo injury during pregnancy delivery after episiotomy healing of the episiotomy this can affect the healing of the muscles and ligaments of the pelvic floor which are weakened or stretched to a limit causing weakness of the pelvic floor the pelvic floor muscles support our pelvic organs when these muscles weaken then the prolapse happens these muscles can be strengthened in time after delivery so that prolapse can be avoided in future the cystocele rectocele or uterine prolapse are avoided by certain pelvic floor exercises called kegels exercises the pelvic floor exercises are taught by the physiotherapist at manipal hospital urinary incontinence can be treated by surgery too there are various surgeries available to treat urinary incontinence they work by stretching or strengthening the angle of the urethra which is at fault in patients with urinary incontinence urinary incontinence can be of various types it can be a urge incontinence a stress incontinence or a mixed depending upon the type of incontinence the patient can be treated fecal incontinence or not able to control the bowel movement or motion is also very common in postmenopausal women or women with pelvic floor injury fecal incontinence is a part of the pelvic floor disorders fecal incontinence as i told you means inability to control motion or bowel movement this in collaboration with general surgeon can be dealt with fecal incontinence can be dealt with by conservative or surgical management conservative management involves a lot of medication and change in the bowel habits or eating habits surgical management in collaboration with the surgeon can be done to treat a patient's fecal incontinence thank you